السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر بیز اینڈ سسٹرس ویلکم بیک ٹو رامدان ریمائنڈرس پرسنٹ بائی ایم سی ایچ کے اینڈ ٹو ڈیز ڈے ٹوئنٹی فور اینڈ دا ٹاپک فار ٹو ڈیز ریمائنڈر از برادر ہڈ یو نو دا برادر ہڈ ان اسلام اٹس ناٹ جسٹ بیسڈ آن اے فیتھ اٹ از اے پارٹ آف اے فیتھ بیکاز دا پروفیسر علیہ السلام سیٹ یو کی ناٹ اینٹر پیراڈائز ان لیز یو بیکیم اے ٹوٹل بلیور اینڈ یو وونٹ بیکیم اے ٹوٹل بلیور ان لیز یو لو ایچ ادر The faith in community are inseparable in the faith community produced by Islam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses in the Qur'an, you know, we are always addressed as believers, yeah, as a collective, you know, as in collective form, not as believer. And all our act of worship that are declared pillars of Islam have a collective form shows the importance of Muslim brotherhood, that one should get the benefit while doing with other Muslim brothers. For example, when we offer our salah, our five times obligatory prayers you know we stand shoulder to shoulder and we offer in congregation and it which is 27 times more valuable than the individual prayers and when we offer our uh, charity you know which is highly encouraged in islam it's made obligatory for a wealthy muslim to give portion of their annual wealth to his poor muslim brother and um, the fasting as an essential individual act has been given collective form through unity in time and uh, when we offer a hajj we we all we muslims wear a similar piece of cloths you know indicating the equality of islamic brotherhood and it enforces unity in both time and place bringing the believers together in the plane of arafah in the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we join in the worship of allah we produce a brotherhood that embodies the best moral values you know the mercy compassion fear of allah piety and justice The bonding of brotherhood in Islam are observed even in micro level where it's forbidden for two Muslims to start a whispering conversation in the presence of the third as it might offend the one left out and weaken the brotherhood and it is also not permissible for a Muslim to break off a relation with his brother for more than 3 days subhanallah look at the sensitive approach of our deen in strengthening the bond of our brotherhood but unfortunately these days we are witnessing the loss of brotherhood within our communities and you know it's get divided more and more and even in our families you know it's get divided more and more because the love and genuine concern for each other is decreasing you know it's not just because we don't have time to fix it it's because we have neglected or not realized the one of the very important responsibility which is interested upon us as muslims which is the encouragement of reconciliation my dear brothers and sisters you know one of the greatest of deeds pleasing to allah is for the third parties to get involved in a disagreement or dispute between two people and actively solve the problems in a best manner but too often some of us opt out of a conflict between our extended families or within our circle of friends but if you are in a position to do something positive we shouldn't just sit back and ignore it because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in quran innama al mu'minuna ikhwatun faslihu bayna akhwaikum wattaqullaha la'allakum turhamun the believers are but one brotherhood so make peace between your brothers and be mindful of allah so you may be shown mercy you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command all of us to be active in working to bring about the reconciliation between any group of muslims who are not getting along on fighting you know and in surah al-baqarah verse number 224 to 225 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits using his name in order to cut off relationships for example if you are swearing by allah that i'm not going to talk to so and so i'm going to see you know so and so which is forbidden you know which is a very serious uh, serious sin so uh, We have to be very careful, my dear brothers and sisters. And in Surah An-Nisa, verse number 114, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explicitly allows and prays secret meetings by third parties to discuss tactics on how to bring peace between two people who are not getting along. And uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Would you like to know what is even more blessed out of higher rewards than praying, fasting and giving charity? It is to bring peace between two people. You know, it's been reported in Abu Dawud and it's a Sahih narration. 
and there are numerous reports that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would actively participate in such matters once the news came to him that two tribes of kuba fought each other and even threw stones as soon as he heard he stood up with some of the companions and said come let us go and resolve the dispute between them and this hadith is reported in uh, sahih al bukhari so my dear brothers and sist- sisters when we see our immediate families or friends or in our close circles break up and not talk to each other let's not just sit back and let it get worse if we are in a position to take an active role speak to each of them and you know what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us to even lie to them for example if if two of our friends they're not talking to each other you can go and talk to them and tell them you know what he actually spoke to me he said he really f- uh, felt bad about what happened and he really wanted to get back together you know he really feel regret about it and you can go back to the other other friend and you can tell the same thing you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us to even state lies in bringing the reconciliation between our fellow muslim brothers and sisters so when was the last time we did that you know so my dear brothers and sisters this is the time for us to reflect and inshallah you know let us organize the gatherings with our friends and circles you know to to plan to bring them together we plan for so many things so let's make an initiative you know and 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 put into practice and follow this inshallah as much as we can in within our families and in uh, friends to bring these changes and make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our plan and then execute it and we will see inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower his blessings so let's not just do nothing so and let's take an active role in unifying this ummah and increase our brotherhood and sisterhood amongst us you know and let's make use of this opportunity in ramadan to bring reconciliation between our family and friends and strengthen our brotherhood with our fellow muslim brothers and sisters you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said none of you has faith until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us wa'tasimu biha billahi jami'a wa la tafarraqu hold firmly to the rope of allah and do not be divided so my dear brothers and sisters what is our excuse you know let's make use of this ramadan you know to to bring to bring the changes inshallah you know may allah unite our hearts and our communities for the sake and forgive our transgressions and shortcomings may allah help us to establish the true spirit of brotherhood by forgetting our so called differences and it is only possible if we act upon the teachings of quran and sunnah especially in this regard jazakumullah khair for listening please share and like the video and do watch tomorrow's reminders too assalamu alaikum warahmatullah